Hi, welcome to Book Bites, presented by the Euless Public Library. I'm Miss Susan, and I'm the children's librarian, and each month I'm going to talk about a couple of really good kids chapter books that you can find in the children's fiction section at the library. Hello everyone! This week's theme is National Deaf History Month. This period of time observed nationwide every year celebrates deaf history, and in particular, contributions made by the deaf community and the hearing impaired to American culture and society. Deaf History Month appears to have had its beginning March 13, 1996, when two deaf employees at Washington, D.C. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library taught sign language to their colleagues. This occurrence evolved into a week of deaf awareness created by the library. Cookley Deaf Awareness Week evolved into a month-long period dedicated to promoting a greater understanding of the deaf community. This period quickly evolved to last a month. To celebrate this Heritage Month, we have chosen books that highlight deaf characters. The first book I'm going to talk about is Show Me a Sign by Anne Claire Lazat. Deaf author Anne Claire Lazat weaves a riveting own voices story inspired by the true history of a thriving deaf community on Martha's Vineyard in the early 19th century. This piercing exploration of ableism, racism, and colonialism answers the call to dig deep, examine core beliefs, and question what is considered normal. Mary Lambert has always felt safe and protected on her beloved island of Martha's Vineyard. Her great-great-grandfather was an early English settler and the first deaf islander. Now, over a hundred years later, many people there, including Mary, are deaf, and nearly everyone can communicate in sign language. Mary has never felt isolated. She is proud of her lineage. But recent events has delivered winds of change. Mary's brother died, leaving her family shattered. Tensions over island disputes are mounting between the English settlers and the Wampanoag people, and a cunning young scientist has arrived hoping to discover the origin of the island's prevalent deafness. His maniacal drive to find answers soon renders Mary a live specimen in a cruel experiment. Her struggles to save herself is at the core of this penetrating and poignant novel that probes our perceptions of ability and disability. The second book I'm going to talk about is Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly. In the spirit of modern day classics like Fish in a Tree and Counting by Seven comes the Snyder Family Book Award winning story of a deaf girl's connection to a whale whose song cannot be heard by his species and the journey she takes to help him. From fixing the class computer to repairing old radios, 12 year old Iris is a tech genius. But she is the only deaf person in her school, so people often treat her like she's not very smart. If you've ever felt like no one was listening to you, then you know how hard that can be. When she learns about Blue 55, a real whale who's unable to speak to other whales, Iris understands how he must feel. Then she has an idea. She should invent a way to sing to him. But he is 3,000 miles away. How will she play her song for him? Full of heart and poignancy, this affecting story by sign language interpreter Lynn Kelly shows how little, a little determination can make big waves. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for more fun and exciting book recommendations here on Book Bites.